Hello, Cancers. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get into it. I know today is a great day for you all because that is the intention that you set. Let's get into it, Cancers. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, Cancers, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. We're going to try to keep it short and sweet. Happy birthday to each and every one of you all, Cancers. Happy birthday to each and every one of you all. Let's do it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. As we are closing out this cycle, getting ready to enter into a new, a whole new cycle, a whole new phase that begins on July 5th, which will be in Cancer. We'll have a new moon in Cancer. Um, the moon is currently, if you're watching it on the 25th, it's in Aquarius, but then it's going to move into Pisces. So I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Pisces to get you prepared for that, right? So as you all are sharpening your swords to become an even more powerful, more intellectual humanitarian, and you're thinking about, okay, I need to cut away from the karmic uh, ties. And so cutting away of karmic ties, meaning that Karmic ties feel like there something is like, okay, it's almost right, but something is not right about something, right? And the what's not right about something is just the negative portion of something. Like, let's say, for instance, and I gave this example in another reading so, to help you all to understand that you don't have to completely cut people off all the time. Um, or you can you can stay with the positive memories of energies and not cut them off. All, all sometimes you need sometimes it's required. You have no choice but to just go like leaving a job or leaving a some kind of relationship or whatever. But it's not always required, right? Um, a karmic relationship could feel like let's say you and a sibling. Um, you all can you know like schedule meetings or phone conversations once a week because maybe family says somebody uh, somebody's parents says family over everything and you know y'all need to get along and so on and so forth and y'all start out the conversation as adults you know y'all used to fight a lot when y'all was kids it's like 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 cats and dogs y'all just go at it when y'all were kids but then as an adult y'all said okay we're adults now we can leave all of that stuff behind but somehow it just feels like it's just forced right that dark side of it is the karmic side the is a negative part of it right but the light side of it could be you know i love my sibling um and you you're saying okay i love my sibling i love th these things about my sibling right i love these things about my sibling um and um and focus on just that or i love these things about my partner or my spouse or i love this about my mom or dad or i love this about whoever you're focusing on what you love about them like the agape love because there's no way everybody can know every little thing about people right um and so you're just going by what you're what you've experienced right but the negative part sources saying that's carrying like this heavy weight like this like this you know, this heaviness around you, like, okay, it almost washes it out. And so you find something positive that you can focus on with them, about them, and you focus on just that part. So um, even if other people were bringing negativity about somebody, you're like, that's, yeah, I, ch I choose, it's a choice. I choose to focus on the positive about them. It doesn't make you seem naive. It's a choice, right? It's a choice, you know? So even when other siblings, like you can find something positive to say about whoever, because I don't want to carry that heaviness. I don't want to carry somebody else's burden about somebody else on that your internal scales. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, so first card out of the deck is a nine of cups. You're gonna feel like you hit the jackpot. Just what I was just saying, emotionally, somebody gonna feel like they hit the jackpot. All right, so yeah, so I'm talking to you wherever cancer is in your birth chart, and we're talking about water, right? So somebody is ending something emotionally, and the, it, what you're ending emotionally is like, you know, just uh, even in human form, you know, just the the negative aspect of things. Like, okay, I'm ending the confusion. I, I'm somebody, It's like somebody is taking the high road in something saying, even though I'm dealing with very immature spirits here, we have the um, ace of wands here. And it's two immature spirits that you're dealing with. Somebody could be dealing with some very immature spirits. You're taking the high road and saying, I'm taking a leap of faith in this. I'm not operating in fear. I have faith that I prayed over this. I'm going to let God handle it, but I'm leaving it behind. I'm taking the negative aspect of things off. And I know that source is helping me with something. And that's how you're closing out the cycle. Like I'm 
I'm taking. I prayed about it. God has given me clarity. Maybe you're drinking more water because again, you're a water sign. So you, you have your feelings about certain things and your feelings are true. Like it would be like putting a crab in hot water, right? Like when you're around these types of energies, it can make you hot. When you think about it, just like it can make you angry and just how they what they're motivated by. They're just motivated by toxicity. They're motivated by bullying people. They're motivated by uh, extinguishing people's flame. They're just motivated by something totally different than what you're motivated by. They're, um, they're just mo I mean, totally motivated by different than what you're motivated by nurturing people, by her by helping people. Like you're the mother and money sign of the Zodiac. And they're, they're motivated by something totally different. If they're not bullying and extinguishing people's flames and fighting, I mean like physically fighting people and always in survival mode, that's the only thing that gets them fired up. But then when they get to a place where they met their match, then all of a sudden they cowered down because they're coward as spirits, right? So source is saying to you, you've made an executive decision to end any emotional ties with anybody who you can feel like is on the dark side of the energy. They so busy being distracted by those energies that they can't see what you can see. So it doesn't really matter. So you're saying, okay, you're giving something over to God. You're saying, okay, if it's a spouse that's distracted by, you know, an ex, then, hey, I'm giving that over to God. I'm praying over this situation, but I'm taking a leap of faith forward. It doesn't necessarily mean you're cutting the person or spouse or love interest off. It's just saying, you know what? That part of the conversation, we could talk about everything except that. Because again, it causes you frustration, anger, confusion. It's like, why can't they see what you can see? They so busy being so busy, like trying to ignore something that they don't want to see it, right? But you see things clearly. I keep trying to tell people, y'all are human lie detectors. You, you can see... Uh, you all are literally ruled by the moon, Cancer. I'm talking to you wherever Cancer is in your birth chart and, and how connected you are to your emotions and feelings. And so Source is saying you're using that fire to focus on being financially independent. You're like, you know what? If, if they can't see it, you know, you're not going to you're not going to treat them like. You're not going to treat them like um, like something's wrong with them, like every zodiac sign has their power. Right. And so yours just happens to be. Um, just your feelings, like you have a feeling about some things, right? And so what these energies are motivated by are trying to extinguish your, your inspiration, your fire, your emotional attachment. They're trying to end your emotional attachment, almost like take you out of a situation. Um, it's like, it, it would be like, um, um, it would be like you're dating somebody or you're the parent of, or you're the you're, you have an emotional attachment or emotional tie to something. You could be the spouse. You could be the, the love interest. You could be the parent. And it's like a person who is trying to fight you tooth and nail. They're not trying to work with you to nurture something, to help something to grow. They're working so hard against you and trying to get as many people against you that you have had to make a decision that, hey, I'm going to focus on the positive in the situation and I'm going to cut ties with the negative part of it. And I'm going to trust that God is going to handle it. God has already handled the situation. Here we also have the three of pentacles here. Not only is somebody being promoted, additional streams of income. So source is saying to you, because you have, here's a nine of pentacles, nine is the death rebirth number, because you've decided to end something that's death and go to the rebirth side and say, I'm focusing on the positive in the situation. Like, okay, I'm praying to source. The source in your third eye is going to show you everything. Now somebody's motivated to travel more. See this globe right here? Somebody's motivated. If you're single, you're getting out dating more. You're motivated to start more businesses. You're motivated to pray for clarity and how you should start your businesses, what kind of business you should start. Because there's energies that like, they like all of that. They like getting people boiling hot and mad to almost, like I said, trying to, um, uh, trying to with, with, with evaporate your water. Like in other words, evaporate your intuition. Water would be connected to intuition, right? So that they can pour into you who they are. They are, it's like a projection, project onto you who they are. So because they're always in fight mode, 
they can claim now that you're the aggressive one, that you are the one cancer who is not a good nurturer, or if you're a mother, that you're a bad mother. If you're a father, that you're a bad father. If you are a uh, a loving sibling, everybody knows that cancers are sweethearts, that you're not a sweetheart, that you're evil. Like they're trying to project themselves onto you, so you have to make a uh, you have to make an executive decision to part ways with something that somebody is trying to control that you are emotionally tied to to say i'm detaching from the negative emotion about something and i'm focusing on the positive so you can remain in a pot so when every when all the smoke clears fire and water when the smoke clears whoever's in the middle will be able to see the truth They'll be able to see who you are, Cancer, because you're dealing with some energies. You, somebody has to understand you. When you're dealing with very dark energies, they don't care about all they they love creating fires. They love creating drama, chaos, and confusion. They love all of that kind of stuff. That excites them. And so Source is saying you're removing yourself from you're cutting emotional ties. You're saying I'm getting out this, the clippers and I'm just cutting emotional ties with the whole situation. So if they want to bring something to you, you're come like let's say for instance, it's somebody that you're dating who has a very cantankerous ex that loves to keep a bunch of drama going. You're gonna say to them, or you could be a, you could be a wife, a husband, you could be a love interest, you could be a, a parent or whatever. That's the other side of the family could be out of control. It could be a whole lot of stuff. You're empowering them by saying, you know, you have options. But that's not a conversation that is that that's because that would take you off of your throne. That would take them down off of the throne. It's like, you know, you have options because this situation has already taken care of itself. That's what somebody is not seeing It's like you're choosing to you're choosing to operate on a frequency of love. So when not if that person that's really you're the target cancer is trying to get to you to cause you to bring you draw you into their confusion you're too smart to not you're smart enough not to get drawn into their confusion cancer you're saying no 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 you've already ended that you have no issues they're the ones that have the issue not you you're not getting caught up in the confusion so even if there's a warm gesture, oh, let's all, let's, the, and because this is what's coming, Cancer. What's coming is somebody who really wants to prove that you are like them or that you have an issue with them, Cancer, is going to try to extend an olive branch. And guess what you're going to say? No, it won't even be a, I don't know. They're going to try to extend an olive branch because they feel like they have something of value to you of your so if they feel like okay they feel like your significant other is a value the relationship is a value to you or if they feel like it's your kids or a mentee or a mentor or aunt uncle somebody that they feel like is a value to you because remember it's not all about money it's we talking about material uh, physical existence of things they're going to try to make it seem like they're extending a warm gesture to you the answer is no the answer is no y'all can keep it you, you can keep it i'm not interested then, then all of a sudden the questions are going to come, right? Oh no, you're you're not holding any grudges, none whatsoever. You're waiting for the energy in between to see what it really, really is. Here we have the Eight of Cups. Here we have the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Star card, and then also the Ace of Cups. Because you already see what it is. You all are human lie detectors. You already know you're dealing with people that's in their own personal hell. So you not compromising cancer is really going to expose everything. You're a star. You're not dimming your light to come down to somebody else's frequency. That will cause you to be a fallen star. Oh, now we want to connect somehow with cancer. So if that's somebody's ex who's now all of a sudden they see things that were not working well for you and you dating somebody, you're like, I'm, I'm not interested in, in bonding with that energy. They've called because they're causing too much chaos and confusion. They're causing way too much chaos and confusion because it's not a common bond here. We're like, let's all flow together. So for the, for the, you know, like, let's all take the high road. Let's all be mature for the helping to help grow somebody involved. You know, let's put our, let's everybody put their, let's put the, let's put the swords down. Let's put the blow torches down so we can help people to grow. And so if they seem like they're extending the olive branch first cancer, you're going to say, no, thank you. Cause you already see, you already see right through people's personal hell. That's the only way they could, they know how to communicate is through a bunch of chaos and confusion. And guess what? They're going to come back and say, cancer has an issue with them. You can say they can think what they want to think. You're not interested. Here we have seven of pentacles. You've already planted some new seeds to start growing. 
Yeah, you're saying your 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 definition of teamwork is significantly different than theirs. See this right here? Your definition of teamwork is significantly different. Their teamwork is all about them. There's an I in their team. They were a team. For you, it's there is no I in teamwork. So it would be like a person who has caused you all kinds of chaos and come you and your significant other or you and your adult kids or you and your whoever, all of this, you know, like literally try to mess up your whole life coming back after they, because they, their, their demons are out of control now, cancer and them coming back saying, now we're extending the olive branch. They must be holding on to a grudge. You're not holding on to anything. The nine of cups lets me know that you let it go. You released it. You said you released it in love. The only person that the only people that could be confused are the people that's caught in the middle. And you're saying, no, I'm not confused at all. Actually, my life got better without them. So that lets me know I made the right decision. Here we have the eight of cups here. So you're raising your frequency. You moved on from the disappointment already. So here we have the ace of cups. Yep. So for in your personal and your professional life, somebody gonna feel like they hit the jackpot. Here we have the queen of cups. Oh, you have nothing but compassion for the whole situation for yourself and from other people. Here we have the five of pentacles. You're just leaving people out of your vault door. And that's what it is. The goal is to get inside your vault door. In other words, if you're dating somebody and their ex is real messy, they just want access to what's going on in your life. Make no mistake about it. If it's an ex, if it's a, if you're married to somebody, they want to know what's going on in your life. And because somebody in the middle, they just want to keep the peace, Cancer. They just, well, I mean, they, they trying to extend an olive branch. Y'all better hear what I'm saying, Cancer. If you married to somebody and their ex has been causing you hell and they've been messing up y'all money and doing all kinds of stuff, that's what it is. They want access to you because everybody knows cancers are the money of the zodiac sign. And thank you all for putting the um the comments below. And so they want access to how is it that cancer is able to do this, 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 that, and the other financially. And I just cracked the code for you all. They want access to you. They want access to you. But and they they they, they couldn't even see and they couldn't even see that as, as sweethearts as you all are, y'all would have told them a long time ago, y'all didn't pay X amount of dollars for X, Y, and Z. You would have, you would have given them the Lord have mercy. That's what I'm saying. When you decided, Hey, I'm turning off the emotional, um, the emotional valve, the water valve of emotion. You're not turning it back on because you already see what it is. Now people are trying to warm up to you and you're keeping people out of your vault door. Eventually, the one that's in the middle that think that, okay, oh, they now trying to warm up to cancer and now cancer is just shut down emotionally. You you darn right you shut down emotionally cancer because they created so much chaos and confusion. As you being a sweetheart of the zodiac sign, you're saying you had no choice but to leave them out of your life. You're like, no, nah, I need to leave them out of my vault door. They talk so much trash about your mental health and create so much exhaustion and chaos and confusion around you. Uh uh, nope. So source is making sure you and somebody, like I said, adjust your crown. You're down to earth. You're relatable. People want connection. They want to be connected to you. You moved on from the disappointment a long time ago. And here's the thing. This is why your star is shining brighter, Cancer, because you never spoke bad of them. Never. <laughs> never. I'm not even talking about you speaking your truth. See, that's a difference. Your truth is that they created a bunch of chaos and confusion, and you spent a lot of time possibly because we talk about water crying about it showing some kind of emotion about it just depressed whatever it was that's your truth disappointed disappointment but you're not disappointment anymore because they've shown a pattern of behavior that's what that's, you say you know what when i go back and look at a pattern of behavior that is just how they operate with everybody that's how they operate with everybody they start a fire and when they get their way then they act like they forgot. Then they, they come back and actually, like, oh, let's extend Oliver. They don't care whose life they ruin in the meantime. They don't care. So a source is saying for you, you can defend your decision to move on without even coming across as defensive. Thank you, but no thank you. That's your answer right there. Thank you, but no thank you. You're about to catch a flight somewhere. You're not even worried about it. Like I said, you're like I said, you're and and people are gonna wonder. They like, okay, here you are, booked and busy, cancer. You're not burdened at all. You're not stressed out. You don't have anything negative to say about them. Nothing. Because life is going swell for you. Life is going very well for you all, cancers. You don't have anything negative to say about them. Nothing. The justice card. Yep. You're not even indecisive about it. See these scales of justice right here? You know, you're what you're dealing with, what somebody is dealing with. Remember the justice card, Libra, is 
ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics, but it's also associated with the color green. You're dealing with people who are green with envy. You're dealing with people who are the dark side of Venus, vain and vengeful when they don't get their way. They will literally burn down all relationships around them, very immature, until they get what they want. And then they come back and it's like, well, what happened? How, who burned all this down? Like, like they never even ruin relationships and ruin people's life. Oh, you have no idea what we, what, how we ruin everybody's life. Source is saying, you're going to feel stronger without them. You're going to feel much stronger without them. Let's go ahead and cut your losses. <laughs> For real. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. You work way too hard to get to where you're going. There's no way you're going to, uh uh, no, no, no. Your wishes are being fulfilled. Mm -mm. So you and somebody coming together, like I said, 999, let's, let's me know that you are, you are unique. You're really, really a sweetheart. And people keep trying to project this horrible image of you just being this dark energy onto you so this time somebody figured it out somebody this time somebody said you know what now it's starting to make sense every time i try to give certain energies an inch they take a mile and i end up and you start end up feeling like okay am I, are you the bad person that's how you start feeling like maybe it's me maybe i'm the bad person but you're not you're in human form, right? So the human form makes you human, right? You're like, okay, so you, you are entitled to emotions. Sometimes you cry, sometimes you sad, sometimes you happy, sometimes you whatever. You're entitled to have human emotions. But going with people, these this right here, all this fire, this is intentional. If somebody was dealing with some very immature energies, something having to do with material possessions. That could be a house. It could be money. It could be inheritance. It could be whatever it is, something material possessions or something that they feel is of value to you like kids or parents or you know physical existence of things books it can be uh, anything whatever is a physical existence but source is saying to you you know now that you have figured it out now that you have figured it out both in your personal and your professional life your your um your um your wishes are being fulfilled so you can choose to make an announcement to somebody first you can initiate the conversation first and let them know that that's off the table, or you can wait till they bring it up first and say, you know what, we could talk about everything else except that, but you're not interested. Because now that you are leaving people out of your life, guess what? They're gonna be the one that's gonna come to you first and gonna say to you, they're gonna be the ones that's coming to you first. Here we have the hang one. So hang in there, hang in there with yourselves. Your star is shining bright. Your star is shining bright. Hang in there, hang in there with yourselves. Hang in there. Here we have six of swords. You got an ancestor that's helping you to move on quietly from a bunch of chaos and confusion. <laughs> Somebody's waking up from a nightmare. I'm serious. That's what it is. Somebody's just saying, you know what? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You're just waking up from a nightmare. There's a there's a lot of uh, spiritual names that I can share with you all within this reading with this. But it, like I said, it, it's... It, you and somebody are building a very rich legacy together, and that's what you want to focus on. Matter of fact, with this right here, it's going to bring you and somebody closer together. Um, if you don't have your person on social media, I would suggest you now have your person on social media because now that you're keeping people out of your life, you got energies that will set up shop literally right next door to you. If they feel like there's a vacant apartment, a vacant house, a vacant hut, for that matter, they will go in with a group of people and purchase it and make sure they set up shop next to you to see if they can spy on you. All kinds of stuff that people do to see because now that they feel left out, okay, okay, we, we got to find out who, who, who knows them, who is connected to them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So it's just saying it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter because now that you know what it is, what type of spirit it is that literally is obsessed with you, you also have other people, like I said, that's helping you to move on, to keep your star in the sky. That's going to help keep your star in the sky. So, yeah, these are energies that just like to just, like I said, wheel of fortune. You're going to feel very, very fortunate to have loved ones, you know, in your life that's helping you move on from this. Here we have the sun card. So stay in your light. Stay in your light. We know the sun is a star. 
you know, as well. But yeah, when well, you're dealing with these types of energies, here we have the um the 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 sword card. Something is going to make somebody in between you and these energies that are trying to get to you very sad. Like they're going to all at first they're going to assume that you're the problem. At first they're going to, so if it's a if it's a spouse, they're going to assume that you are the one that's a problem. If it's a, if it's a, a, a partner or a significant other, at first they're going to assume you are the problem. Um, and so they're not going to see it at first. So I just want to prepare somebody for that. They're not going to see it at first. So you're going to have to pray. Pray, source, show them. You show them in however way you show them that it's just been that draining for you, you know. Um, and that, like I said, that something has just been that draining for you when you look back. And just how interacting with certain types of energies have made you come across as like you're the one that's hostile and you're not interested in that anymore. You're not interested at all because that's what you're dealing with. That's what somebody is dealing with. You're dealing with energies that like when we talk about the physical existence of things, they want to physically place themselves somehow to you because they feel left out of something. You don't need to give it any time. You're a hardworking person. You don't, this right here would be four of us. Uh, so this is, you'd be more conservative with your time. Source will tell you exactly how to move. You got a lot of ancestors around you that's helping you. So that's all you need to know. You don't even need to get us any energy for real. You're dealing with very hurt spirits that hurt. Uh, they go, they just go from place to place to place, trying to, hoping that you're going to sabotage, that you're going to say or do something that's going to sabotage yourself. So it's like, get away from them. Don't even connect with anybody that's connected to them. They live in this land right here, replaying the past over and over and over again like a broken record. So it's just saying, you already know what you're dealing with. So, so whoever's in the middle of all of this, just know that they are, they're, they're hoping sources, the lesson for them is that they're going to have to learn how to tap into the well of joy within themselves and stop wanting to be connected to chaos themselves. That's the lesson for them. So if it's a if it's a significant other, if it's a you know partner or spouse or whatever, they're gonna have to stop being wanting to be connected to chaos themselves because that almost seems like it's a norm. They're gonna have to make a choice, in other words. They're gonna have to stop wanting to be connected to chaos. But make no mistake about it, cancer, you're the target. Make no mistake about it. And you're going to feel very, very fortunate to have, like I said, cracked the code. Because your wishes are being fulfilled both in your personal and your professional life. But the best thing you can do is leave energies out of your life. Leave energies, just leave them out of your business. You have the gift of deja vu. That's remembering um, That's remembering the future. And it's time to leave some energies behind. But what you're leaving behind is the negative part of it. Just so we're crystal clear. Everybody is not going to cut people off, okay? Just so we're crystal clear. When I talk about cutting people off, it's like cutting off the negative aspect of things. So let me be crystal clear with that. Because some people deserve, like when you're leaving a job, it's not like you're going to keep like keep in contact with everybody on the job. If it's just like uh, negative, like take everything case by case basis, right? But you are an answer prayer to a whole lot of people, but you got to create the change that you want. But this is, the lesson for you is to make whole people like, be obedient to source. Source is saying to you that there's some energies that's trying to dim your light and basically bring you down to like trying to bring you down to side to bring you down to their frequency cancer, just in case somebody doesn't can't figure it out. So if you the star girlfriend, a star boyfriend, you know, and they got an ex that's just a bunch of chaos and confusion, or you the star husband or the star wife, and they got an ex or whoever in their life past life, you know, before you came into the picture, trying to, they trying to dim your light to make you seem like you're not as good as you were before. Or if you were the, if you were the star of the office or you were the star, you know, or the star somewhere where, you know, you offer people hope, you were blissful, you were optimistic, something is trying to dim your light and you have made an executive decision to remember the good and part ways with the bad, toss it into a burning bowl and not reconnect with that. That's if that makes sense for somebody. You're going to feel like, okay, you're going to feel sunny. You're going to feel very fortunate. Like I said, justice is in somebody's favor. Things are just working out for you. Things are just working out for you. So here we have. And so the people that, that feel like, okay, because you're taking a high road, because people who have this very um, judgmental, um, they love to fight. They're going to at first think that they've extinguished your flame until they fall into their own fire. That's when, you know, 
by that time it's too late. So here we have, you have the gift of precognition as foreknowledge. Your laughter is actually medicine for people. Don't give yourself a headache over this, but do the mirror work. You know your worth add tax. If you are a, if you are, you know you all are a sweetheart cancers. I, I can't reiterate this enough. Don't let somebody tell you that you're not. You're in human form. You are subject to having whatever emotions you need to have. Cry when you feel like it. That's a release. If you know, just like you're releasing toxins from your body. Um, so yeah, so like I said, um, you know, like I said, cancers, something is definitely trying to dim your light. And and here's a here's another thing that somebody needs to know too is if you are a part of something that could possibly dim someone else's light, because this is how the enemy is also trying to work through this too. If you're a part of anything that could possibly dim somebody else's light, um, and you're not aware of it, let's say, let's just say you just blindly in something and don't even know what you into, right? Somebody's talking negatively about somebody. The best thing you can do for yourself, if it's causing any kind of somebody comparing to somebody else, if it's toxic, if you wouldn't want it said about you as you're evolving and you're going through your rebirth, remove yourself immediately because it absolutely can affect the outcome of whatever it is you're personally going through. So let's say, for instance, like I said, somebody comes to you and they're saying, oh, we uh, we know so-and-so and we are basically, you know, we, we whatever it is, so they're comparing uh, somebody, uh, they're comparing somebody, maybe they're comparing you to somebody's gifts or whatever the case may be. So it's say remove yourself from that because... It will absolutely affect whatever it is you got going on, something connecting to money. It absolutely will affect that. And that's the part that a lot of people miss. They're like, okay, I thought for certain something was going to come through for me. And all of a sudden something doesn't come through because somebody missed that part of it. So it's, it's like I said, it's tied, something is tying you to something. It's an emotional attachment there. And so sources say the goal is not only to have compassion for yourself, but have compassion for everybody. Get on your throne. If it does not involve adjusting crowns, then you don't want any part of it. I'm telling you, if it doesn't matter, because again, that's going to be part of the test. That's the part. That's what I'm saying. Like if you are not ready to cut ties with, let's say, for instance, Sometimes people may have issues with like family members or something. And if you say, okay, you know, I love my sister or brother. Um, and you say, you know, um, put together a list of what you love about them, right? If you start to see that the cons outweigh the pros in a relationship, it may be time for you to cut ties. If you can't, if you guys struggle that hard to find something you love about somebody, it's time to go ahead and cut ties. Because something something that's happening, so, um, something that is something that the it's a it's a major test that's going on for everybody in this cycle right here, because source is saying to everybody like okay, the, whoever you know created the enemy is saying okay if you're trying to get to a certain thing if you're trying to get inside your vault door and you've been working this hard to get into your vault door i'm gonna see if you can actually see it as the as the as cancer the moon sign as being somebody who is highly intuitive as your of your emotions are waxing and waning again queen of cups if it doesn't involve helping somebody else to adjust their crown even if your ego is in a way and your ego is saying somebody told you oh you better you have you're more you're high more highly gifted than they are and i can show you how you're more highly gifted and there's some kind of financial gain in this or learn this from them and that's take it this and whatever sources like cut it off because that's what's happening here when i look at your cards somebody's dealing with some very immature spirits that will mess up when i'm telling you they will burn down everybody's life just to get just to prove a point even if it means using you use your wisdom 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 that is what i have for you all um that is what i have for you all and um yeah, I had to make sure I get that part out because, yeah, thank you, Source, for giving me that information because, you know, to help somebody keep their star. Here we have, you add triple value to people's lives. Here we have zero, zero, zero. I'm a creator. You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. That's right, here on earth. All right, here are your questions. 
Here are your questions for the moon in Pisces. There's a whole lot of emotions are coming to the surface that can be so overwhelming. It can really feel like it's just a bunch of confusion, right? The first question is, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? And then if so, uh, the second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love, compassion, compassion for you and compassion for other people, even if they are trying to use you because there's somebody's being used, even if they're trying to use you to get at somebody else, it's the enemy. It's not them. They're operating from a lower self, but the target is you to dim your light, right? The third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? Fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? And then last but not least is, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? That is what I have for you. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.